Good morning, welcome back. It is fall, so you guys know what time that is. It is time for flannels and firewood. So the last video I did, we just kind of went over the five saws that we have. And one of the things that we spoke about are the tank protectors slash skid plates, belly pans, whatever it is you want to call it. Uh, this one here is a 2020 MS362CM made in Germany. Actually, they're all made in Germany here, but this is a 2011 or 2010 or 11 um, 362. I can't remember if this one's a CM or not. I'm not sure. Uh, anyhow, this one has seen a lot of use, as you can tell from the bottom of it. But the saw itself is in absolute perfect condition because of how I maintain them. This one here is the 251, also has got plenty of use, and it also has the tank protector on it, skid plate, belly pan, whatever it is you wanna call it. I do not have one yet for the 193C. I'm still looking for one for that. But we did order one for the 500i, and it is here now. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed. So you can get these in anodized orange and black. Now, when I ordered these three, uh, they did not offer them in orange or black at the time. However, even if they did, I would have still got the silver one. Because if you look again here at the 2010, it has definitely done its job and seen quite a few uh, scratches and whatnot. So I figured if it was orange or black, it's, it's gonna scratch off and you're gonna see silver anyhow. So uh, I would still get the silver ones. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention too is this saw, this one and that one, they also, I installed the chain guard here, which is just another piece of uh, metal like this that screws on. So if the chain comes off, it does have this, but it protects the, the handle and the case. So I will try to find one of those for the 500 as well. Stuff is starting to become more available for this saw. This is the 500i fuel injected. And as you can tell here on the bottom, all these plastic ribs, uh, I don't know how much of the tank it's gonna protect. It should cover most of this the handle and up here where the oiler is. Now that's another thing too. Later on, I may drill a hole in this to get to the oiler, but I have it cranked up all the way anyhow because we run 36 inch bars on this, uh, 28s and 25s. So I want it to oil a lot because I'm gonna have a lot of bar and chain on there. So I just cranked it all the way up and I will just keep an eye on the oil level throughout the use of the saw and not have to worry about the chain and bar. So basically what we're gonna do here, let me uh, get the hardware opened up. The one thing I don't like about these kits are they come with a Phillips uh, screw and that does not allow you to use the wrenches that comes with a uh, little star screw. So. That's a little bit of a pain in the butt, but again, once uh, once you got it on there, you're not really taking it off anyhow, unless you really got some mud or something underneath of it. And you have to clean it out. So you basically, you're just gonna take these two screws out here that hold the handle on and have the anti-vibration spring. And that's the other thing too. The original screw is a little more coarse than the one that comes with it, but nonetheless, it still works. So what you're gonna do, again, like I just said, you take out these two screws right here. Now this kit comes with these spacers. And one spacer is longer than the other one. The longer one goes towards this side of the saw, 
the shorter one goes towards the chain side of the saw. Am I correct? No. The shorter one goes towards this side and the longer one goes towards this chain side. All right. Now. Yeah, okay, so the longer one goes here. Now, third time's a charm, right? So basically, you just have these three bent tabs that are gonna slide up over the handle, and that's what holds it on the back, and then the two screws hold it on the front. So it's a really quick, simple uh, install. You just pop it on like that. And these two screws go right in here. And again, since you can't use your tool, you're gonna to have to get a Phillips screwdriver. And then these just screw right in like this. And then that's done. So that's a really quick and uh, easy install. And it's definitely worth the money because now every time you set this down, you're not gonna be screwing up your tank, your handle, or the bottom of the case. So it's uh, definitely an investment worth uh, investing in. And it's not that much money. Um, let's see if I... So you can get one for $24.50 with $8.95 shipping. So total out the door by 35, 36 bucks. Uh, definitely worth the investment of protecting a saw that's like $2,000. So yeah, highly recommend the uh, skid plates. If you guys wanna see uh, more on the saws, just go back to my previous video. I talk a little bit about all five of them, uh, the different horsepowers, uh, sizes of the bars, chains, stuff like that on there. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any saw of steel, just go on eBay and uh, look for the, what do they call it here? They call it a handle tank guard. I call it a skid plate belly pan, but yeah, it's definitely worth the uh, time and effort. You see, it took no time at all to put that on there and now you're protecting the bottom of your saw. So every time you set that thing down, it does take the abuse. So all these gouges and scratches that would have messed up the bottom of the tank and the ribbing in the case. So it's done its job and it's well worth the money. So yeah, go ahead and check those out on eBay if you uh, have a steel saw. Tomorrow we're gonna be cutting some wood. So I will be doing uh, some demos on the two 362s, uh, 2010 versus 2020, uh, the 500i. 251 we'll do some timed cuts and stuff like that through some cookies uh, there's a really big oak that we may or may not get to tomorrow if we do it's pretty much going to be the 500i because it's a monster and a 36 inch bar that i have may not even make it through it so uh, stay tuned and uh, i'll have some firewood cutting videos up uh, till next time don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned